Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Now you will want to set up the sales tax for your company. This is found in the navigation bar under Taxes. The first time you visit the sales tax page, you will be greeted with a welcome message and a list of things you can do. To get started, click the Set Up Sales Tax Rates button. There are four options available on this page. The first two options are Mark All New Customers Taxable and Mark All New Products and Services Taxable. These two options can be changed later, either by default or on an individual basis. The next section deals with sales tax rates and agencies. This section allows you to enter the sales tax rate for your location. The first option is a single tax rate. This is the option you will choose if the area you do business in has a single tax rate for the whole state. The second option is combined tax rate. This option is to be used when you have to claim city, state, or county sales taxes separately. The tax name field allows you to enter a name to display on your sales forms. For example, Michigan sales tax. The agency name field is the governmental department you paid the sales taxes to. So for this example, let's say it's the Michigan Department of Treasury. The final option is rate. This is where you will enter the numerical sales tax rate. If you have more than one sales tax rate in your location, simply click the add another rate button to continue the process. When you are finished entering your information, click the save button to save and close the page. After clicking save, you will be taken to the sales tax center page. This page gives you an overview of the sales tax owed and any recent sales tax payments that you have made. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.